The job in America today is to put truth back on her feet. That is the job in America, to put truth back on her feet. And I really believe there's not a lot wrong in America that could not be put right quickly, dramatically, if across America, in the pulpits of America, from sea to shining sea, this Sunday and every Sunday, a generation of preachers would open the book of truth and preach, thus saith the Lord God Almighty, without fear or favor. We're in a situation today that is a crisis. Why did God write a Bible? He calls that Bible the Word of Truth. Why did God send the Holy Spirit? He calls the Holy Spirit the Spirit of Truth. How does God describe himself? He describes himself as the truth. Who is Jesus? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. What is the church? The church is called the pillar and the ground of truth. Apostle John said, I have no greater joy than to know that my children walk in the truth. We can get facts from the Internet. There's a difference between facts and truth. Knowledge may double. Truth will never double. There is eternal truth. Truth is what food is to your body, light is to your eyes, and melody is to your ears. Now, you know what most of us want to do? Most of us want to be stamping out snake eggs. Most of us want to be sweeping down spider's webs. But friend, you stamp out a snake egg, just more snakes. You sweep down a spider's web, you've done it before. It's back the next morning, is it not? We need something that will slay the snake and destroy the spider. And that is truth.